Hello everyone, my name is Bob McGoy. I'm one of the applications engineers here at Computer Aided Technologies, your local SOLIDWORKS reseller. What I'd like to do is spend a little bit of time and show you a great plugin for SOLIDWORKS called Power Surfacing. Power Surfacing brings the power of subdivision modeling to SOLIDWORKS. So, what is subdivision modeling, you might say? It's the ability to actually take a polygonal model such as a rectangle, squares, mostly polygons, and make them into a very smooth surface. Um, those who have used Rhino, 3D Studio Max, Maya, have done subdivision modeling before. Usually they result in NURB surfaces. So what we're going to do is the same thing inside of SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to take the simple block and I'm going to change it into a bottle that we can actually use and manufacture inside of SOLIDWORKS. So the first thing I'm going to do is subdivide this model up and give it some more edges to deal with. Throw a couple in there. And before I go any further, I'm going to select these bottom faces and I'm going to make them a little bit wider. I've got quite a bit of control just on my move triad where I can scale, rotate, pan, and So I'm going to go ahead and grab these faces by holding the A key, I actually add mesh. And let's go ahead and scale these down a little bit, just in that one direction. And we'll move a couple more mesh up, hold my A key. Maybe rotate this one over a little bit, and we'll make it just a little bit smaller in that direction, and a little bit smaller that way. Getting a look at that there, it's getting somewhat close. We'll go ahead and rotate that a little bit more. And I'm going to grab that face one more time, and I'm going to go normal to that surface and extrude one more off of it just by holding that and dragging that out. Be able to make that flush to or what coordinate system, drag that over a little bit. And what I can do here, grab these this face here, make that a little smaller. With both faces selected, almost every command that you need inside of power surfacing can be found in the right mouse button click. I'm going to bridge those two together with a single click, and I'm good to go. Maybe if I want to add another one in there, maybe one or two, I'll add another in, and then I can just grab a hold of those, maybe move those up a little bit, do some changes. Let's see what that looks like with the surface. So you can see I'm getting something a little bit more like a bottle. I'm going to add a little bit more surfacing in here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a couple subdivisions. And here I can actually say how far apart they are from the edges. So I'm going to move those down just a little bit. And I'll grab a hold of these faces right here in the center. And I'm going to ask those to have a nice rigid connection so they don't move. And maybe I'll create an offset there. And the offset will make those go in a little bit. So I'm going to do another rigid connection. And we'll scale that in a little bit. Maybe down a little. And also in. So you can see here, because those purple edges are hard edges, when I bring them into SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to be able to work with those. So when I hit OK, it's going to take this subdivided model and it's going to actually make it into a mesh model which has a C2 connectivity. As you can see, we have a solid model. If I go ahead and shell, look at the inside of that, it looks all nice and solid. I can even throw some fillets on there. make those fillets just a little bit larger. Hit OK. And you can see in the tree I have a, a power body. At any given time I can go back and edit that feature. And we'll make a little change here. Break that out a little bit and make sure it doesn't topple over. It's going to rebuild those subdivisions. And you can see everything's updated just fine. 
If I need to add features to this other than fillets, I can do that as well. Let's go with something pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and add a shell to this model. We'll go with an eighth of an inch. Hit OK. Do our section view. You can see that's hollowed out. And if we really need to, we can go ahead and split that model as well. Now we have our two halves. And like, as always, we can come back in. Let's go ahead and add maybe a pour spout off of this. Right click on that, let's go with a sharp edge there. So now I've got a planar surface coming off of that. We'll hit OK. Rebuild the model. Go back, edit my shell to include that face. Now let's hold that out and remove that face. Now I'm going to do my split. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this short tour on sub D modeling with power surfaces. My name is Robert McGoy with Computer Aided Technologies. You have a great day.